دوست آمد Attention in the barns. If you have a feeder calf, you can go ahead and make your way to the scale. They're going to start weighing feeder calves now. Okay, we're ready to get started with our market goat. We're going to start with showmanship. Before we do that, for those of you that weren't here this morning for our market lamb class, I'd like to introduce our judge today. His name is Levi Richards. He is from Bowling Green, Ohio. He studied animal science at The Ohio State University. Levi is a regional sales manager for Kalmbach Feeds and the national brand manager of Formula of Champion Show Feeds. He has judged cattle, sheep, and goats in 16 states in Canada, including the North American in Louisville, Pasadena Stock Show in Texas, Canadian Royal, and most recently, the Western Bonanza in California. Levi enjoys traveling the country, evaluating and showing livestock of every species with his wife, Kayla, and their five kids. Please welcome our judge, Levi. Okay, so our first class, we have our senior division, ages 16 and up. I need Olivia Mitchell. Jimmy Peasley, Caitlin Johnson, Elizabeth LaRue, Kirsten Reese, and Brenna Bischoff. Caitlin Johnson is a scratch. Okay, I, 
I knew she wasn't doing the right call. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't doing the This is your class. Well, good afternoon, and uh, like I said this morning, sure is a pleasure to be here. Had a really good morning working with your uh, sheep showmen, and had some certainly uh, had some high quality uh, lambs to work with. And I'm excited to get into our goats here. I know there's not as many goats as there were sheep, but already just seeing the first five come in the ring uh, gets me excited because we're seeing some quality, and the showmen are good, so uh, it should be a fun afternoon. I want to narrow it down to these three here and talk these three real quick before I play some. Young man up front does a really nice job uh, as far as just overall. Uh, ring presence and having great posture about yourself, get, get, getting the goat to get out and move for you, which is a, a kind of a, sometimes an uphill battle. Uh, but you always keep him moving in the ring. When you get him stopped and set up, you're kind of rocking him back and forth and just getting him to brace instead of setting those feet by hand. I prefer to see at least one of those back legs, uh, you know, set by hand in a perfect world, but you still get, give me the right amount of stretch and angles and everything with him. Uh, you do a real, real nice job presenting him. As I come around the front side of him, make sure you're switching sides when I get on the opposite side so you're never uh, blocking the view of the goat for me. Um, but other than that, you've done a really nice job with him. 
good lady in the middle with the black hide and goat does a nice job. And again, one of those uh, showmen that kind of rocks him back and forth to get him set up. For me, probably get him just a little bit too stretched out, and that goat spends a little bit too much time with his front end up in the air. All right, I don't mind you picking one up to plop him forward or rock him back and forth or do whatever. I just like to see him set back down when you go in to, to drive him. Personal preference. Uh, nothing wrong with picking them up whatsoever. I just like to see them set back down when you're done doing that work. Uh, other than that, you've done a real nice job. I never want to see you pull at that head too much, so be careful that you're not uh, overdoing that part of it. We need to keep them upright. I don't want to see them be pulled out. The young lady here on the end with the doe does such a nice job and sets those back legs by hand, gives her the right amount of stretch, yet gets a really effective brace and drive out of this doe, uh, and really keeps that head and neck upright without just a constant tug. So relaxed about her overall poise, yet really uh, efficient about getting that one set up. There's a no-brainer for me. She's your champion out here. Uh, young man up front is going to be your second place, so reserve, and young lady in the middle will be your third. Our first place and senior division champion will be Brenda Bischoff. Brenda, you'll come back for the champion drive, so stay close. Jimmy Peasley, second, and Elizabeth LaRue, third. So now we're ready for our intermediate division, ages 12 to 15. I need Hallie Simmons, Hannah Wolf, Ella Johnson, Mariah Titchnell, Lexa Galloway, Mackenzie Motes, Lexi Roy, Ava Simmons, Lane Clark, and Aubrey Welch. Yeah. 
of that stand here and watch the show there. Really good group of showmen here. We got it narrowed down to these three young ladies, and and honestly, when I make that last lap, I'd like to see it make or like to see it become a little bit more clear. And honestly, it got a little bit more challenging. Uh, but I think they're all three doing a really nice job. Let's talk about them real quickly. The young lady up front does such a nice job with this weather. Uh, really like the the right amount of stretch you put underneath of him. You stay out in front of him, getting him a good drive. Uh, you know, I I'd like to not see a pull at that head so much. Uh, I don't think it's as bad as it actually looks. So you have such a long, clean front end on that go. Uh, just holding his head and neck upright uh, with those ears up makes it look like you're pulling at it harder than what you actually are. And I know that because we had a go built really similar to that last year. It always looked like my son was just ready to pull his head off, and it was really never the case. Uh, but uh, you do a nice job getting a good drive out of him. Personal preference, uh, I I'll tell you, not to tell too many stories here, but there's a video of me showing cattle at my very first county fair. And I cringe every time I watch it because in final drive the whole time I'm talking on gum. So it's become a personal thing uh, that, that I'm nitpicky about. I'm not going to let it affect your place in here, but I'd rather not see it chew gum out here in the ring. A uh, young lady in the middle that's, that's boxing with her goat right now uh, does such a nice job. And I'll tell you what, most of the time she gets out in front of this goat just enough to get that front end propped up really well uh, and get him elevated and driving and gives me such a really good look. And uh, for 90% of the class, this guy wasn't acting like a kangaroo out here. Um, but, you know, when, when they do uh, really get it pulled together, um, this guy is, is, he stays together, he's square underneath, he's up head and up neck uh, without that pulling factor. Uh, and she does such a nice job working through those uh, issues and, and getting him right back into where he needs to be. So uh, we're going to let you get back to what he should be. He just uh, didn't like to be talked about on the microphone. So. Uh, young lady here in the green shirt doing a really good job. Immediately one that grabs your attention when she comes in the ring, she kind of has some extra ring presence about her, and there's a lot to be said for that. You're at about 80% as far as feet and leg placement goes. Make sure that you're getting him to 100, because I know you can do it. Make sure he gets boxed up and stays boxed up. There's a lot of times there's a leg or two off, just a little bit that I want to rearrange. 
Uh, maybe you don't need to pull at that front end so much to get him bracing. Um, if you get him set up to where it is, or to where he needs to be, maybe worry about you coming into him rather than pulling him to you, because I think that's most of the problem as far as him moving feet and legs around. I would like to see you wrap yourself around the front of that goat just a little bit more to get a more effective brace, and I don't know that you'd have to bear hug him and just pull him at you so much if you were standing at the right spot. Other than that, you've done a really nice job. It is awfully close, uh, you know, and, and here Joe Boxer here in the middle still not done fighting his battles, but I'll tell you what, there uh, for 90% of the rank, or 90% of the class, there was no question about it. Uh, she was running away with this class, and even though he's fighting her just a little bit, when it's all said and done, I do think that's my favorite goat showman out here. So we're going to pick that one to win. Young lady here in the race is going to be second, young lady here in the turf is going to be third. Great job, all three of First place and our intermediate division champion is Ava Simmons. Second, Hallie Simmons. And third, Aubrey Welch. So Ava, you came close because you're going to go back in for our champion drive. Now we're ready for our junior division, ages 9 to 11. I need Paisley Kidwell, Eli Riley, Olivia Dixon, Emma Foreman, and Jay Strasser.
Got it narrowed down to two this time. This young lady up front does a really nice job. I really like the way that she's holding that head and neck uh, upright and keeping those ears up off of his neck without making him look like a rabbit. Um, you know, getting just the right amount of, of brace and push out of him. I want to see you spend a little bit more time placing those feet and legs and getting, getting her perfectly squared up because uh, I know you can do it. I've seen you reach back there and just kind of leave, uh, you know, her where she was. Um, but let's make sure we're focusing on those. And I always say every five or six seconds we should be glancing down and making sure they didn't move a leg and we didn't realize it anyway. But you do a really nice job with him or with her. A uh, young man here, again, one that gets a lot of brace and drive out of that goat. Let's try to keep that head and neck more upright and that goat facing forward all the time. And I think it'll keep her from moving back and forth on you. If you let her crank her head around, her body's naturally going to go with it. So let's make sure we're keeping her at attention, facing forward all the time. And I think she'll probably cooperate just a little bit more, especially if you can get around in front of her just a little bit. Uh, it'll give her something to push up at, and she won't be moving around so much on you. Really close between these two. I'm going to use the young lady wing and the only second. Great job. First place in our junior division champion showman is Olivia Dixon, and second place is Jay Strasser. Okay, we're ready for our overall champion division drive. We need our senior champion from today, Brenna Bischoff. Our intermediate champion from today, Ava Simmons. Our junior champion from today, Olivia Dixon. And our previous overall champion from a prior Buckley Festival, Heather Hayes. This will be for your overall champion showman for Market Goats.
Well, this is really, really close. Let's start by putting green together for all four of these uh, young ladies. Doing a really nice job. And, and for me, it is, you can probably tell uh, it narrows down to the two young ladies on the outside uh, for which one I like best. And, you know, at times, uh, it's, awfully, it's awfully hard because, uh, you know, they can do a lot of things right out here. And not, maybe not necessarily even do a single thing wrong. Uh, and it just comes down to personal preference in showmanship. And the way that I've got to think about it at times, if we had two goats in final drive, uh, and I needed a second showman, which one of these two would I pull? Um, you know, which one would I put my other goat on? And, and I think I'd be fine with either one of them. Uh, you know, I think both of them do a really nice job. I, I really like the way this young lady handles this goat. She's, she's really calm, she's really poised up front. Uh, does a nice job. At times you let her hold her, her head out front of her just a little bit more. I would rock it back over that the top of that shoulder blade just a little bit harder at times. Uh, but that's getting really, really critical on you. I think you do a nice job. That goat is always firm to the touch when I get my hands on her. Uh, and you do a really good job getting the right amount of stretch as far as those back legs go. Be careful not putting those front two out in front of her just a little bit too much. But that's really, really critical. I'm talking like less than an inch. Young lady here does a really nice job, uh, and I can see why she is, has won it the previous year and has made it back out here for the overall. Uh, she does a great job. I really like when she gets into bracing this goat, she throws a hand up underneath his chest to kind of get the right amount of stretch underneath him and sets him right back down. Keeps that head and neck really upright, uh, and I, I like her hands off approach up on that front end too. She's, she's really 
um, really detailed about the way that she holds that head and neck, uh, and that goat reacts well off of her. I actually enjoyed just a little bit that he was giving me some vents out here when I pulled you out individually, because to me, a great showman is made when they're having those little issues and the animals being difficult to see who can make the best out of it. Uh, and I think you, you certainly prevailed there. You did a really nice job. Uh, I just like the way that you go about things uh, in a lot of different ways here. It gets awfully close, and like I said, it very much comes down to personal preference. The one that just absolutely knocks it out for me is this young lady here out of the fourth hole. She'll be your champion. Thank you. Our overall champion showman for goats is Heather Hayes. Now we're ready to start our market show for our goats. Division one, class one. I need Paisley Kidwell, tag 418. Mariah Titchfield, tag 443. Mm. Ava Simmons, tag 438. Lexa Galloway, mm. tag 409. Hallie Simmons, tag 439. And Paisley Kidwell with tag 419. These goats weigh 63 to 70 pounds.
really nice group here of lightweights to get us started off. I think the young ladies kind of run away with it. You know, if it really comes down to overall muscle expression and roundness of rib, I think he ties together the best overall picture from the side and, and just certainly the most opened up uh, about his upper skeleton from behind. Love how extended and, and cool he is about that front third and how high his neck ties into the top of his blade. I think his better days are ahead of him. He's going to keep getting better. I don't know how much longer uh, this young lady wants to hold on to him and keep showing him, but uh, if you wanted one for later on in the fall or even throughout the winter, I can see him working quite well. One that I've got here in second, I think, resembles our class winner in certain pieces. I like his length of body. I like his squareness of hip. He's not nearly as open up about his upper skeleton as his pin set or his hip width. Uh, or even his upper rib shape uh, compared to our class winner, but still resembles it from the side as far as his length of body and elevation underneath. Not quite as extended through that front end, but certainly has enough for me today just to kind of fit that mold and follow the trend there and lane in second. The one that I've got in third maybe needs toned up just a little bit more as far as overall power is being more competitive in this class. Still like him for his overall uh, soundness and balance from the side, just not overly powerful over that top or from behind, but certainly a nice complete kind of go. Young ladies, uh, go that comes next. Like this one for, for his length of body and roundness of rig. For me, it lacks just a little bit of muscle expression over that top and from behind compared to the ones that beat him here today. He wants to get a little bit weaker on his back two pass turns. He's not quite as extended and high about that neck and the way it ties into his leg. But still, I think a really nice goat with some product nonetheless. We've got a couple here to round us out. Just need a little bit more time on the feed to really stouten up and give us some more product over the tops and from behind. Just need to be a little bit more expressive in their overall handle today. But certainly a nice couple goats. If you would, let's put your hands together for all of them. First place in our first place county bred, Allie Simmons. Second place with our second place county bred, Ava Simmons. Third place, Paisley Kidwell. Fourth, Lexa Galloway. Fifth, Paisley Kidwell. And sixth, Mariah Tisha. Our Division One Class Two, I need Lane Clark with tag 403. Lexa Galloway with tag 408. Michaela Bush, tag 401. Mackenzie Moats, tag 429. Michaela Bush, tag 400, and Jay Strasser, tag 441. These goats weigh 74 to 86 pounds. Cold. If you guys are inside, don't be afraid to come in in a sweatshirt, hoodie, jacket, whatever you've got to do. I know it's not for warm up today. Uh, I want to see you be comfortable out here in the rain and just be able to get your job done and not worry about freezing your butt off. Uh, so don't be afraid to do that, especially now that showmanship's over. I don't mind seeing a jacket or hoodie in the rain. Just wanted to throw that out there.
It's down to three for me, and it gets awfully close between each one of them. And I think you could probably justify arranging those three about any which way you want to. Uh, I chose the heaviest muscle two here out here that still have uh, some really good uh, eye appeal and overall look. I think there's some major structural differences between the two. Young lady, black colored one uh, up front here. Just a really good, complete one. I think he's the most correct in terms of his overall build. Uh, you know, I don't know that he's quite as expressive and powerful as the one that stands in second. But where he's good, he's really good. Just overall balance and, and look, uh, he's just very complete. And, and just a little harder to put a major hole in compared to the two uh, that's going to stand behind him. This one that I've got here in second, by far, is the heaviest muscle one we've seen so far here in the show. Uh, he's got some freakish out there pieces that I absolutely love. But where we need to rearrange him are some major significant issues, and that's mainly in his front end. He gets a little bit too straight, stands up upright on his toes. He wants to break behind that shoulder blade just a little bit. But if we can tie all those things together more correctly, but not only do you win this class, you probably make a hard run at a lot of shows at a lot of places. Uh, because the shape that he's got up through that top and from behind is way out there, and I love it. Just I wish we could make those uh, those pieces up front uh, put together just a little bit better for you uh, so we could do that. Two really nice ones though to get us started off with. Young man's go here. He's really well balanced from the side for me. She uh, needs to go into production. This is a good, complete kind of mama doe. She's really expressive over that top. She's not quite as stout from behind as what she is over that top. We need to balance it up just a little bit better. And even so, when we get her out in motion, she tends to, to pivot at her hip just a little bit more. She did, just gets a little bit straighter off of her rear too uh, as you watch her in motion compared to the others. I wish she'd hold herself together uh, just a little more true and square as you're uh, asking her to get out and go. But still one that I think gives you a really nice look from the side and has some nice pieces, especially that muscle expression up high. Means a lot. Young man or young lady's uh, red one that's going to come next just kind of falls next in line as far as overall muscle expression. He's got more than the two behind him. He doesn't have as much as the three that stood ahead of him. It's still just a really good outline kind of go. Tall shoulder, extended up front, square enough, uh, just not a powerhouse like we want him to be. Not any, any more powerful, and I think we could start uh, comparing him to the ones ahead of him. Uh, but just not, uh, not doesn't have enough to him here to really start making that comparison. The one that I've got here next uh, gives you a good look on the side. Really long body, great set of his back legs, uh, nice elevation up front. Just not as open up and powerful uh, as you want him to be or need him to be to do any more with him here. I'm going to round out with the one here that just needs a little bit more time on feet to really, uh, you know, put the muscle expression and condition where it goes. Uh, but still, I think a really good goat fundamentally. Really sound at the ground, really correct as far as speed legs go. Just need to blow him apart as far as overall expression today. Put your hands together for a nice group of goats. We would also like to recognize real quick Lexa Galloway and her goat air tag 408. It was our rate of game winner for our market goat. First place in first place county bred, Mackenzie Moe. Second in second place county bred, Lane Clark. Third place, Jay Strasser. Fourth, Michaela Bush. Fifth, Michaela Bush. And sixth, Lexa Galloway. Now we're ready for our division one champion in reserve. We need Hallie Simmons, tag 339, and Mackenzie Motes, tag 429. Oh, 
Kelly, come over in the center. Okay, and then we need Ava Simmons, tag 438, and Lane Clark, tag 403. And these are all county rep, Judge. here to start off our goat show and represent Division One. Uh, you know, I think we've got a pretty uh, pretty well, well runaway here uh, to win this class. You know, the one that came out of that second class we talked about kind of surfacing to the top because of muscle expression and putting all those other things together well uh, as far as overall structural and composition uh, and came out of that class being the one that's the most correct, even of the heavy muscle ones, that's an easy one to use to win this division. Here's what really gets close because I think the one out of that first class, as far as just overall design and build, is more correct than the one uh, that was second there out of that second class and now in contention. Uh, however, there's not near enough to him. Uh, you know, if we really wanted to get our hands on him and say we need some muscle expression and mass today, his better days are still ahead of him. He's still very green and, and immature about his shape, where that one uh, out of that second class is probably the stoutest one we've seen so far here in the show. Even though there's a couple things we've got to correct about that one, I'm still going to use that one here for our reserve in this division. Our Division I champion and our Division I County Bread champion is Mackenzie Moe. Our Division I Reserve champion and Division I County Bread Reserve champion is Lane Clark. Division II Class One, I need Mackenzie Moe, tag 428. Aubrey Welch, tag 445. Lane Clark, tag 402. Elizabeth LaRue, tag 421. Eli Riley, tag 434. Ava Simmons, tag 437. And for those of you who are following on our show sheets, we have a missed entry, which is Hannah Wolf, tag 449. These goods all weigh 87 to 91 pounds.
Nice class here. I'm going to use uh, these two places as they are. The young lady up front's going to win this class. Just one that I feel like a shallow runner needs, rounder, and more opened up about his center body and page, and still probably the heaviest muscle going out here uh, in this particular class. We maybe like to just strengthen him right behind that shoulder blade on top and just give you a really nice level look uh, over that top in a perfect world. But I think all those other pieces still work in his favor uh, to just uh, surface him to the top uh, still fairly easily for me. Uh, really nice one here to get us started. Really love this dark hiding one here and, and loved him in showmanship and just wasn't sure where exactly he was going to fall. I love him for his muscle expression. It's not quite as got, doesn't quite have as much as our class winner, but still plenty over that top and from behind. He's not quite as extended up through that front third. He's a little shorter coupled, if you will, and just gets a little deeper about that center body. We'd like to shallow him up and just open him up with some more turn. Uh, but boy, that's still a really cool one with a lot of style to go a long way. Young ladies here, just really fresh, really firm to the touch, not quite as opened up. He's a little flatter and deeper about his forehead and chest floor. We just need to make him more three-dimensional about his skeletal build because there is some muscle expression to go with it. Actually, you guys came in the wrong order. Uh, the young man was supposed to be third here. You were going to be fourth. So. If it was my mistake, I'm sorry, but that is the way they were supposed to be. Good man's got one here that, again, just shallow underneath and really opened up about his center rib. Uh, you know, really three-dimensional up front. Just wish we could power him up just a bit more from behind to match that. Just bring everything together in one solid picture. He, at times, wants to get really weak top, but I think it's him more pulling back out of the showman just like that hollow a little bit more, uh, more than necessarily being a structural issue. Really nice goat nonetheless. Like I said, this next one, uh, really nice uh, from the side. Just need to open him up in his skeletal build to match what muscle expression he does have over that top. We can probably power him up just from behind, just ever so slightly, but one that's very structurally well put together at the ground. Got a, uh, a goat here that comes next that, again, really sound, really correct as far as feet and legs go. Just need to open this one up a notch more and give it a shot more power and muscle, especially right through that top of those higher price retail price. We need uh, just a little bit more of this guy. But still one that I think gives you a nice look. He's got some extra style to go with it. Just not as powerful as you want him to be in this particular class. The young man got one next that is a little shorter coupled, a little bit more mature up front, just carrying a little bit more condition, not as much muscle as you wanted to, wanted to get your hands on him. He 
handles really soft. He's not quite as firm and as expressive as at first glance you think he's going to be. Um, you know, that extra substance you see there is really a, just a little bit more chub, just a little less power. So we need to change those things up and stop that guy up all the way through. Young does a nice job with him. Going to round out with one. It gets a little flatter and deeper about that center body. We can just open this one up with a little bit more turn to that center rib and make him more three-dimensional about his skeletal build and power him up all the way through. Really nice class build. Nonetheless, put your hands together for all of them. First place in our first place county bred, Aubrey Welch. Second place with our second place county bred, Elizabeth LaRue. Third place, Lane Clark. Fourth, Ava Simmons. Fifth, Mackenzie Motes. Sixth, Eli Riley. And seventh, Hannah Wood. Division two, class two, I need Elizabeth LaRue with tag 420. Lexi Roy with 436. Emma Foreman with 406. Kirsten Reese with tag 432. Hannah Wolf, tag 448, Olivia Dixon, tag 404, and Eli Riley, tag 433. These goods weigh 92 to 103.
kind of leave these two as they are. When this young lady's weather came in, boy, he hit you really hard, uh, and I sure didn't think anything was going to touch him. And I think this doe, the longer out here, has gotten closer and closer to it. Uh, but even still, I think he's the most complete. He's the best built, and he has all the muscle in the world to go with it. I would like to just youthful, give him a, a more youthful look uh, at times, but still, I think he's just a powerhouse. And, and you know, for looking a little bit older up front, he still handles really fresh to the touch. Uh, I wish we could get a little bit more show out of him. He does not want to be a show pony today, but still, just a really stout guy at the ground that gets around the ring quite well and has all the right angles built into him. Like I said, this doe, I think the longer you stand back and analyze her, the more and more you like her. She's got a really good turn to that rib coming right out of the back of her blade. She's plenty powerful over that top and from behind. For me, we need to push that breastplate back up into her just a little bit more and tie that head and neck uh, higher up into the top of the blade with a little bit um, longer, cleaner look. Uh, but boy, that's getting awfully critical. That's a really nice throw there. Love to put that one into production and see what kind of weather we can make with that one. I think this one just kind of comes next in terms of overall muscle expression. He's not as stout as the two that we have, but he certainly has more than the rest behind him. You know, that being said, he's correct at the ground. Uh, he hits around the ring really nice, really square. Not quite as opened up in his skeleton as we'd like to see him. At times he looks a little bit deep and fat uh, through the center part of that body. We can tone him and open him more up, or open him up more, and then get him closer to perfection. Uh, but still, I think a really nice one nonetheless. The doe that comes next has some good pieces. I, I really like her as far as her center body, uh, her length of body. She's really correct with the ground. Uh, she's as good a tracking one as we've got out here. Just need to power her up a bit more, uh, make her a bit more square up through her hip. But still, I think one that uh, has a lot of really nice pieces. The young man that comes next, at times you think this guy is just going to be an absolute solid powerhouse. We get our hands on him, there's not quite as much just true stoutness there as there is condition. We just need to tone him up just a bit more uh, and give him a shot more power to go with the chub that he brings out here. But he's still really sound and really correct as far as feet and legs go. We need to open him up and give him a round of center body while we're at it. The young lady that comes next, uh, a really nice one as far as being real tall, short and give you uh, an elevated look. He just lacks a little bit more shape compared to the ones that beat him here today. We need to power this guy up all the way through, especially right behind those shoulder blades through his rack and rolling. We just need to have a bit more goat there to handle, but still one that I think uh, gives you a nice look from the side. Turn around out with the young lady's darker headed doe. Uh, still one that's very long body, really correct at the ground. Just need to power her up all the way through like the one that's named ahead of her. Uh, he wears those two hands together for all these days. First place, Emma Foreman. Second, Olivia Dixon. Third, Elizabeth LaRue. Fourth place with our first place county bred is Lexi Roy. Fifth place, Eli Riley. Sixth place with our second place county bred is Hannah Wolf. And seventh place, Kirsten Reese. Now we're ready for our division two champion in reserve. I need in the ring Aubrey Welch with tag 445 and Emma Foreman with tag 406. Then I need Elizabeth LaRue with tag 421 and Olivia Dixon with tag 404.
nice division. We've seen some really high quality uh, goats out here. And uh, I think, you know, narrowing it down to these four is pretty easy. You can appreciate all of them for their overall stoutness. Uh, and then, you know, we start throwing some structural correctness and, you know, round, round ribs and uh, youthful long, clean front ends about them. Uh, you know, some of these all tie together, some better than others, but uh, I think all of them share some of those, uh, you know, things that we're looking for here. The one that, though, is just a standout for me, like I said in class, maybe doesn't want to be showed up today, not getting the best drive and brace, but even still, you can't help but just love the weather out of that second class. This young lady here changing. Probably gets a little closer for me as we start analyzing the dough that was second to that one, uh, to the weather that leads or that wins that first class here in this division. We talked about maybe wanting to make them a little stronger and level right behind those shoulders on top. Probably not something that that dough really struggles with. Her her main thing for me was wanting to shove her front end back up on top of her shoulder blade and just clean up that breastplate a little bit. Even still, I think when you're looking at both of them from the side, the one you can't help but just tie into is the dough that came out of that second class. That would be a reserve. Okay, so our Division II champion is Emma Foreman, and our reserve is Olivia Dixon. So now we need, for our county bread drive, we need Aubrey to stay, we need Elizabeth to stay, and we need to add Lexi Roy and Hannah Wolf. Lexi Roy tag 436, and Hannah Wolf tag 448. Like I talked about there in that division, you know, looking for some of those fundamental things like structural correctness and adding those on top of, uh, you know, overall uh, third dimensional skeleton and, and mass and muscle shape. You know, you can't help but just love this weather out of this first class. We talked about maybe wanting to tie together a little better uh, about his top, but still, he just kind of runs away with it for the county board division. He'll be your winner out here. Who's that going to go into the black one that was behind him in class? I just love that guy. He has so much look and style. But there's some things we want to change about him as well. But uh, he'll be your reserve champion for the county board. Our Division II county bred champion is Aubrey Welch. And our Division II county bred reserve is Elizabeth LaRue. Now we're ready for our Division Three Class 1. I need Olivia Mitchell, tag 426. Olivia Dixon, tag 405. Emma Foreman, tag 407. Jimmy Peasley, tag 430. Jay Strasser, tag 442. And Lexi Boyd, tag 435. These go to play 104 to 107.
I really like about both of these goats on top, but both of them are, are starting to show a little more maturity and a perfect world to turn them back and, and just give them a bit more youthful appearance. Uh, you know, and I think that's an issue that has to do with both of them, and so it kind of becomes a non factor. Uh, they both surface to the top for being the heaviest muscle ones out here. Uh, really like this weather at the ground, though. Boy, he just gets out and reaches, uh, you know, so much or so far off that front end, fills his tracks, it stays nice and square from behind. I think he just has a bit more length and extension up through that front third. He ties together uh, really well behind that shoulder blade. We like to just make him a bit more round and shallow underneath, but it, again, those kind of things kind of come with uh, a maturity thing, uh, and, and we're still starting to lose that overall just a little bit. However, for showing that age, I think he still handles fairly fresh uh, and has plenty of expression all the way through. Really like this, though, and I think this one needs to be used to make some weather. But for me, she's a little shorter couple. She's a little bit uh, more compact about that front third and just gets off on that hip just ever so slightly. You love the freshness, the touch this one has. She's really expressive when it comes to muscle, just like the stretcher out from end to end all the way through. Uh, but still one that I think gives you a lot of really cool pieces. I like that one a good bit. Young ladies, weather the thing comes next. This one just gets a little flatter and deeper. Just want to open him up, make him shallower and more beautiful. Come in there and just power him up just ever so slightly. Now that's, uh, that's a lot to say about one uh, that's still very sound and correct in his build. And I think probably a month or so ago, he was probably about in his prime. He just made it get a little bit harder to keep fresh uh, as we go into the fall here. Good games go here, then comes next. And this one has a lot of power from behind. He gets a little bit looser, high, and a little bit softer handling over that top. Uh, but still one that we appreciate a lot of pieces of. The young ladies here, we like him for being shallow underneath and having a nice round from the body. For me though, he lacks a little bit more shape than anything else out here that beats him. Uh, we still like this guy for just having overall good look and style and balance. 
We're going to round out with one. This needs a little bit more muscle all the way through. It gets a little bit uh, steeper at the top of the spine. Uh, it's just not quite as expressive and powerful when we get our hands on the one of the day. It's the one that's really sound and correct as far as feet and legs go. Uh, gives you a nice look on the side. If you would, let's put your hands together for all of them. First place in our first place county bred, Jimmy Peasley. Second place in our second place county bred, Olivia Dixon. Third place, Emma Foreman. Fourth, Jace Strasser. Fifth, Olivia Mitchell. And sixth, Lexi Wolf. Now we're ready for our last class of market goats. I need Aubrey Welsh, tag 446. Heather Hayes, tag 411. Kirsten Reese, tag 431. Heather Hayes, tag 410. And Allie Wilson, tag 447. These goats weigh 111 to 124.
going to leave these two. Uh, Sam is they are a young lady up front. going to win this class. Just an absolute powerhouse over that top and from behind. And yeah, I'll tell you what, both of these goes are showing some age and maturity and, and putting plenty of it up through that front third. And just uh, look way past time. Uh, however, I still think he ties it all together the best for me. He's sound underneath. He's square where he needs to be. Uh, he's just an absolute rock star. When it comes to muscle, uh, that's an easy one for me to use on top of this class. Then ladies in second, I think resembles him in certain places. He handles really well over that top and from behind. And even fairly fresh for being as old as what I'm assuming he is. Now for me, he's not quite as, as clean and long and just chiseled out about that neck. We want to just tighten that height up and give him a cleaner look about it. We want to tie him together behind that shoulder blade just a little bit better and find him about that uh, shoulder blade and even his breastplate. Uh, but still one that gives you a big look and, and uh, really nice handle. One that's going to come next, I like this guy, uh, you know, from the side as far as overall build and balance goes. He's not nearly as powerful as the two that we have here today, but still one I think a very logical placement for him. He's got more substance than the ones behind him, not quite as much as uh, the ones that stand ahead of him, and he's just really well balanced and complete. The one that's going to come next then, I think at first glance you probably think there's a little more muscle in this guy than what there actually is. He's a little bit chubbier than what we want him to do. We need to just freshen him up and give him some more tone and overall uh, expression today and to maybe even get more definition. And I think uh, we could probably use that guy another place higher in this class. If we gave him a lot more power, I think we'd appreciate some of the pieces that we, what he did give us uh, and maybe be able to use him with Kaya's second here in this particular class. Just not the case here today. The dappled bow here that's going to round us out here. Really like this one in terms of feet and legs. Really correct with the ground. Long body. Not quite as strong uh, behind that shoulder blade as you want her to be. Not quite as square about her hip as you want her to be. Uh, so some things we've got to change there and just power her up all the way through. Still a really nice breathing piece if the young lady chooses to do that with her. If you would, let's put your hands together for all of them. First place, Heather Hayes. Second place, Heather Hayes. Third place with our first place county bred, Aubrey Welch. Fourth place with our second place county bred, Allie Wilson. And fifth place, Kirsten Reese. Now we're ready for our Division Three champion drive. I need Jimmy Peasley with tag 430 and Olivia Dixon with tag 405. And I need Heather Hayes with tag 411 and 410. absolute powerhouses out here to choose from. I, I think there's plenty of muscle in any of the four of them. There's also plenty of maturity. We're starting to see some age. I want to chisel the front ends out and just give them a more useful look to all four of them. Uh, so it, it, like I said in the prior class, it kind of becomes a non-factor, uh, you know, once you kind of figure that out. You know, you really start uh, handling these guys and, and uh, you know, some of them handle more fresh than others. Some of them are, are a little bit more correct in terms of their uh, condition. But, and, but, you know, one thing that I think remains the same in all four of these, and I like that about all of them, they're very correct at the ground. They get out and stride really long and square and stay square from behind. There's ones for me that just put them together all just a little bit more correctly. Uh, and, and I think I've made whether I'm that first one. We look at that dough that the second to him compared to the weather out of that second class. We talked about maybe just wanting to give her a bit more stretch about her hip, about her neck, and even center body. She's just a little shorter coupled, more compact kind of dough. We've got one that probably has those longer pieces and still plenty of shape, even though he is showing that maturity. I think, like I said, that's a common factor among all of them out here in this drive. This one here out of your second class will be your third heavy.
Our Division Three champion and our County Bred champion is Jimmy Peasley. Our Division Three reserve champion is Heather Hayes. And now we need a reserve champion County Bred. So we need Olivia Dixon, type 405. And Aubrey Welch, tag 446. Thank you, Sergeant Perry. These people are Reserve County born. That doe just excels. The country is born a part of our skeleton, having so much muscle mass and shape about her. You know, we talked about wanting to stretch her out, but even still, I think she excels in terms of overall quality, bringing this much product out here. She'll be a Reserve County County born. Our county bred reserve champion for Division Three is Olivia Dixon. Now we're ready for our overall breed and reserve champion drive for market goats. I need Mackenzie Boats tag 429, Emma Foreman tag 406, and Jimmy Peasley tag 430. Then I need Lane Clark, tag 403, Olivia Dixon, tag 404, and Heather Hayes, tag 411. by putting our hands together here for all of the gentlemen that have been through the ring, but especially these kids and the women at all. We've seen you know, a lot of quality goats out here today, uh, but I think, you know, the most memorable ones for me are the ones in the ring out here, uh, you know, and, and certainly kind of rise to the top in terms of overall muscle expression and power. There's been very few that are powerful that we kind of, kind of uh, sort low, uh, you know, because of structural issues or anything like that. For the most part, the stoutest ones have made it to the top because they're still correct enough at the ground uh, and still tie together better, uh, you know, and, and handle well and still give us a youthful, youthful enough uh, you know, appearance up through that front third. The one that kind of just uh, surfaces to the top for me is an absolute powerhouse. He's not always the, the best one to show or the funnest one to show, uh, but still really square in his build, just really up and up. It's still uh, useful enough about that front third. It just handles like a rock star when he does give us a little bit of drive. There's no question about it. That one in the middle is my favorite go to the day. Overall grand champion market goat goes to Emma Foreman.
get a little bit closer. You got to uh, kind of compare some apples versus oranges here. He got one out of that third division that's really highly presented, and a uh, young man just really does a nice job getting him shown. But you know, we talked about uh, everybody in that division kind of showing us a little bit too much age and maturity. He's a little thicker neck. He even handles just a little bit softer at times. Uh, and then you can get a little bit flatter about that center body just because I think his age and, and uh, you know, just this maturity kind of working against him. Yet we've got that go out of the second one. Uh, you know, I think once you get your hands on her after handling him, you're, you're impressed and surprised that there is that much uh, stoutness there. You know, she's not overly fancy at any time. Uh, and I don't know what your rules are about, you know, your your uh, terminal rules that this one, you know, have, would have to go or not. Uh, but, you know, I'm a firm believer in the best two need to win. She's my second favorite one today. Uh, to Our overall reserve champion market good goes to Olivia Dixon. Now we need to do our county bread overall grain and reserve drive. Uh, Mackenzie Moat stays. We need Aubrey Welsh tag 445. And Jimmy Speedley stays. And then for our reserves, we need Lane Clark, tag 403, Elizabeth LaRue, tag 421, and Olivia Dixon, tag 405.